Hi guys and girls, welcome back, laser lovers. Here we are again. Another machine that um, I've just acquired, really cheap actually on Amazon. Picked up a bargain. Uh, this obviously is the other panel with the digital readout, and I may do something with this one as well. It's a bit larger and has these stupid buttons up here and all this sort of stuff, but I may incorporate this as it's got a PCB separate board down here. So I could incorporate that somehow into a new panel. Anyway, today what we're talking about is this beast. Finally, I've uh, really I've gone through the lab lift, the one where I screwed up and down. That was wonky. It worked, but it was you know unstable. Um, next, I had the spring loader bed that worked also, but it was a bit of a pain getting stuff in and out. So I want to design something. I've I had a look at a lot. I had a look around at um, other people who design stuff, and I noticed a lot of the time the bolts would protrude through the top here. So obviously, if you had something on top and you wanted the space, for example, the bolt would come through and lift up the the whole deal. So. So what I've designed here is a panel that stays flat, so there's no bolts protruding through as the, as the level goes down. You can see this here, it's on the way down, it okay, goes down the bottom. Uh, that's all the way down, and you can see it's still flush, so you could have any sort of honeycomb material. Where is it? Yeah, so you can show that on the top there. And you won't have any bolts protruding. Let's go up. Hard to see it moving, but it is. Let's get some. So at the moment, I have um, 15 millimeters of travel. I'm working on. Uh, adjusting that and redesigning the, the bottom platform so I can get 20 mil of of travel so this will fit uh, all types of K40s uh, because of these dimensions are all the same even with or without this you can put a larger honeycomb on top here this will support any sort of weight any on anything on top Obviously I removed this section here because this is where the switch sits. Operated into the original hole that's there as well. So everything will come with the switch up and down. There'll be one easy connection straight onto the power supply. 220 volt power supply or 110. That'll be the only connection you need to make. It'll run through the back there power supply and then low voltage will control the stepper motor okay so our focal length is 50 point 50.8 so that's about 50 to the bottom of the housing there is about 0 0.8 I would say to where the laser sits so 50.8 is our focal point so as we go down, our whole bed moves down. Okay, so we're hoping to get about another five mil depth, five, six, seven, eight depth, depending on how I can play around with the bottom there. But basically, that's that's the deal. I still need to modify a few things so the end stops up and down I need to incorporate uh, and as I said I will probably get another five to eight millimeters depth as well from the top focal point down to the bottom so that'll be about 20 millimeters travel distance 
trying to keep it as cheap as possible so everybody can afford it if they're if they're willing anyway let me know in the comments down below and uh, if you've got any suggestions or any any modifications we can make let me know and I'll let you know when I have the product finished and ready to go for sale alrighty guys and girls see you on the next one